everyone, it's me, Gwendolyn from The Gwendolyn Show, and I'm here to give you some advice. It's about wrapping presents. I know. Now a lot of people wrap presents to give to others or themselves or their animals like their cats and dogs and gerbils. And I want to help you learn how to wrap things. So let's go over our materials. First of all, we have wrapping paper. I got this kind because it makes you go weird. Second of all, we need some ribbon. I got it in a spool. Third of all, we need scissors. No running with these. Also, don't forget we need some tape. if you wanted. If you really needed to, you can use packing tape and duct tape though. You just use whatever tape you have available. Also, last but not least, but most important, we need our delicious age-appropriate beverage. Mine is a mimosa. Everyone take a drink of your drink. Now let's begin. The first item that we have to wrap today is a back scratcher. Now, a back scratcher is a very good gift. It is practical and functional. Plus, because it's long, it's easy to wrap. First, you unroll the paper. Then you put the back scratcher on the paper and you see how much back scratch your room is gonna take by folding it as though you're wrapping it, but you're not wrapping it yet. Then you put your finger there and then you cut the wrapping paper with the scissors. Don't cut your finger. Keep your eyes on the scissors the whole time and say, paper, stop curling up so you can cut a straight line. Sometimes paper has grit on the back to help you cut in a straight line I like to live on the edge, so I did not get that. Take your back scratcher, put it in the paper, wrap it around the paper, and then it's in a tube. You take, wrap it around the paper, and then it's in a tube. And then you gotta take Wrap it around in the paper, and then you got it too. And then you take your tape, you don't need to use a lot, it's just some little bit, and you put it to hold the paper on. Now here's the thing. Um, there's a lot of extra space of wrapping paper where the back scratcher does not stick. So oh, there's a couple of things you can do with that. One of the things is that you can cut it off. I don't want to do that. Other thing is you can fold it just like so. Then you got to tape that part. You tape that part down. What would be really fun though, because I still got the other end, is you can take it and you can roll it up like one of those those party blow horn things and you can make it decorative in like a little rolled it up wheel thing like that and then you take that with your tape and then you've wrapped your back scratcher Everyone take a drink of your drink. Next up, on learning how to wrap things with Gwendolyn, we have this present. It's a tea kettle. I got it from a pile by the road. First, you gotta lay out your paper. Then you put the tea kettle on it. Sometimes you can use the tape and the ribbons as a weight. 
to make your paper lay flat because paper doesn't follow rules and wants to curl up all the time. You take your tea kettle. I will find that having the tea kettle wrapped with its little handle bit down probably going to be easier. You take it and you got to measure how much paper you need. So you do that. That's one side. That's another side. There's the other side and that's the fourth side. And then you cut it. You cut the paper, not the tea kettle. It's made of metal. You can't cut it with scissors. Cut the paper very carefully with your scissors, always cutting away from you. Okay, now it's got, we cut it. Now what I like to do is start from the bottom of the tea kettle. So first, I'm going to take this side of the paper, stay down there, and I'm going to wrap it on the top. And then I want to take this side and fold it over like you're folding a fitted sheet or something. Then you got to take the tape, take a little piece, put it where the tape paper overlaps the paper. Okay? Now, everyone take a drink of your drink. Now you got, you got extra sides. So you can take this, you know, fold triangles. Triangle is a shape with three sides. There are multiple kinds of triangles. There's equilateral, isosceles, and a, equilateral, isosceles, and a, a cute ones. There's cute triangles. Have you seen them? They're just sometimes when they're little, they're just so cute. Then you fold the paper up. And then you got to take, see, sometimes you can get the tape, you put it on a finger before you fold it. Don't, don't touch stuff with the tape until you're ready. Take the tape off the finger, put it on the paper. Now look, this is just one tiny little piece of tape for this whole big foldy bit. So I'm gonna take another piece of tape and I'm gonna put it over here too. You can never use too much tape unless um, you can't get it off and you run out at 11 o'clock at night on the night before you have to give presents and the stores are closed. So always get more tape. Now we got this other side. If you gave someone this present, they could see inside that it was a tea kettle. You don't want them to see it because it's a surprise. So this is also the side with the knobby bit. Yeah, it's the knobby bit. So what you can do is make it flat like that. And then you fold it down like this. And then fold that one. Almost origami, but not really. Everyone take a drink of your drink. Once you got it folded, then you just keep folding until you get to the to where the tea kettle is, and then you stop folding, and then you tape. Taping, tape it on two sides. that bit that could get ripped off somewhere tape it and then if you want to add a little pizzazz you can use ribbon I'm gonna use red ribbon because that's the color that was first on the end you cut the ribbon spread it out put it under the present wrap it across the top tie it in a knot tie it one time and then tie it again time and another knot, like that. But look, you got all this extra ribbon. So now you gotta wrap the tea kettle other ways around it till you run out of ribbon. And once you run out of ribbon, then you tie it and you make a little bow, the loopy bow. And there's your tea kettle. Everyone take a drink of your drink. Tea cup. Now I have
have one more gift to help you wrap on this Wrapping Gifts with Gwendolyn holiday special. And let's paint a picture. Say you really love ghosty things. And say you have a friend that knows that and also knows you like smelly candles. And then that friend gets you a candle that says Haunted Cemetery and it's scented. That sounds like a great gift, right? It's not because it smells like vanilla and I don't like how vanilla smells. So what am I going to do with this candle? Regift it. So you got the candle. First thing with candles or anything with a lid, is even though there's this little rubber bit on it, it might not stay on. So you want to take your tape and you want to tape the lid down onto the body of the candle because you don't want it to come off because it could come off in the package and then you'd have no lid for your candle. Everyone take a drink of your drink. Mimosas are delicious. Then you take your wrapping paper and you roll it out. Now remember the weight trick, you can put weight on the paper so that it stays flat. You'll remember that, that's science, it's gravity. You take your haunted cemetery yucky smelling candle, you put it in the middle. You take your scissors and then you cut. It's fine. Then you take your candle and you put the wrapping paper on top. Everyone take a drink of your drink. I caught it. You saw that? Okay. And you put the wrapping on it. Sometimes it helps if you roll it. Then you gotta get the tape. Stay. You gotta get the tape. Good thing I didn't run out. And you put it. You gotta. Oh, I missed. You gotta put it on the ends of the paper where the ends touch the other parts. And you put it on this end right there. And you've got to smash the top down gently because it's glass, so don't smash it hard. And you put, sometimes you just lose the tape. It's gone forever. You can't use it anymore. Carbonation. Put it on there. Then you take that. The red one's just sticking out like it wants to get got. So I cut it. And then I wrap it and you just, until you run out, until you run out of ribbon length, you go around and around, round and round, and then around, and then you tie it. Now this one, I didn't, I don't have enough room for a little bow. So I'm just gonna tie it in a knot. And luckily, luckily I came prepared. And that's how you wrap a candle. Everyone take a drink of your drink. Mimosas are delicious. Thanks for hanging out with me while we wrap some extra special gifts. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Bye!